Okay, so we're going to review the back, shoulder, and dorsal neck of the cat. We're going to start with your trapezius. So it's going to be this big muscle here that's split into three different sections. One, two, and three. This section here is going to be your spinal trapezius. This one here is going to be your acromial trapezius. And then this upper one here, more cranial, is going to be your clavotrapezius. If we pull back the clavotrapezius, this muscle here is going to be your levator scapulae ventralis. If we pull back the chromiotrapezius, the muscles that are between the scapula here and here are going to be your rhomboideus muscles. And then you're going to have two long string-like muscles, one and two on both sides, and that's going to be your rhomboideus capitis muscles. Underneath those, the muscles right here are your splenius muscles. And if we flip the cat onto its side, we can look at the deltoids. So there's three parts of the deltoids. You have one, two, and three. This one here is going to be your spinal deltoid. The middle one is going to be your acromio deltoid. And this upper one here, this large one up here, is going to be your clavo deltoid. This is also known as your clavo brachialis. If we flip the cat a little more this way, you can feel the spine of the scapula. The area above the spine is going to be your supraspinatus, and then the area below the spine is going to be your infraspinatus. If we take the cat and flip it back up like this, the inside aspect here, here, is going to be your subscapularis, inside of the scapula, subscapularis. If we flip the cat on the side, this muscle over here, underneath your lat, and a little bit of your spinal trapezius is going to be your teres major. You're unable to see your teres minor unless you remove the arm. Then this large flap over here is your latissimus dorsi. If you flip the cap on this side, this is your latissimus dorsi as well. And underneath your latissimus dorsi is going to be your serratus dorsalis muscles and your serratus ventralis muscles. Serratus ventralis we discussed in previous video. It's going to be this grouping right here that you can lift up. Then your serratus dorsalis are going to be these muscles over here. You have two sections of it. You have the cranial, which is more towards the head, and the caudal, which is more towards the tail and like the feet section. So the serratus dorsalis cranial is going to be up here. These muscles that are running at this angle and the serratus dorsalis caudal are going to be these muscles running this angle. And that is going to be the muscles of the back shoulder and dorsal neck of the cat.